Alrighty, well, hello everyone. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and wondering why the start was uh, taking a break back soon, not uh, starting soon, uh, it's because I have just done... Um, I have been streaming from the Final Minecraft world, and I thought I'd hop over to the hardcore world, play a little bit, a little bit of hardcore, because I, uh, yeah, really got in the groove of doing a bit of work on Minecraft, and I don't want to stop. Also, I really want to play some more hardcore. Also, I really need to repair this pickaxe. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, this should slowly be working. Anyway, uh, the name of the game today is, first of all, pop a few bits away. Uh, that we don't need. Second of all, pop those on. I can put the things away. Um, yeah, we need to go repair the pickaxe. And yeah, I keep into a light drop for a second. I can't do that, can I? Um, yeah, we need to go repair the pickaxe. And then we need to go get some more redstone and some more quartz. And yeah, no elytra. <laughs> this is now the only world I play in that I don't have an elytra. I also play on a server with a bunch of people uh, that you have heard me talking about with in chat. And we opened the end uh, the other day. So I now have elytra on that world and it's, it's just this world that I don't have elytra. So... Uh... We'll see. Maybe we'll fight the Ender Dragon at some point soonish. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I would be kind of terrified. I don't think I've ever died fighting the Ender Dragon. I mean, I died once when we opened the end on the server, but I don't think that one really counts because the Ender Dragon had five times the normal amount of health, and there was a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, Wizards, the ground was exploding, and the mods of the server made it very difficult for us to fight the dragon. I'll say that. Um, yeah. I, oh, wait, no, no. I have died a couple of times on stream fighting the Ender Dragon in my main YouTube world. Uh, that was, I think that was when I was. Also, I've just realized my face cam covers JEI on this. Um, could move my fa I could move my face cam to the bottom left. Could do that. If I do that, let's try that for a bit. Uh, we'll see how that. Oh, that is not my face cam. Oh, my face cam is locked for some reason. There we go. Uh, now JEI is visible. I feel like I could probably make my face come a bit bigger as well if it's down there. There you go, let's try that. Uh, and now you guys can see the JEI index in all of its glory. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. This kind of... I need a better, like, backlight. Because the one I have will only really go... Oh, that might work better. How is that? That is not very good, I'll be honest. Uh, let's try... Making it a bit dimmer. Maybe we can do it. In... Okay, now we're gonna. We could make it warm. Or cold. Mm. That's a little bit better on the, the slightly warmer setting. Yeah, 
I need I need like better lighting, but I have no idea how to do that. If I'm uh, perfectly honest. Right, here we go. Day two hundred and five. Uh, okay. Oh, yes, no. Yeah, I completely forgot what drills are back over at the other place. <laughs> oh, dang it. Well, back we run. I mean, it probably doesn't help where my, like, light is. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Also, currently, I'm off my microphone, so I probably should have muted when I did that as well. Oops. Probably done a load of clunks. Yeah, because I I don't really have any sort of light source that's coming like down, which is probably where you really want it from. The best I can do is having it from under my monitors um so i'm going to go back to the the coolest temperature light Is the right? Oh yes, because I'm going back to the... I was thinking like, am I going through the villager portal or the mushroom island? But no, because we've got to go back here to get the... The drills. So there's some that... I think they're all in like random chests now, aren't they? There's, there's a stack. There's a few more. Yeah, that's all of them. All right. Ooh, super glue, super glue. Must not forget that. Oh, it's in my inventory. I've already got it. Hey, okay. I'd rather remind myself to get it and already have it than not remind myself to get it and not actually have it. We needed we needed 14 and a half stacks of redstone blocks. We'll do a quick summary whilst we leg it over the nether roof again. We got I think four stacks of redstone blocks. We need yeah, we only need another 90 what is that? 
We need about another 94, 95 stacks of redstone dust. <laughs> and a few stacks of quartz as well, not to mention all the sandpaper we're going to need to go through. <laughs> Is there not, like, any easy way of... Like, making redstone dust? Because... Uh... Okay, yes, you can do a potion of strength onto cinder flower. Yeah, we need... Automating redstone is going to be, like, something we're going to need to get on, like, as soon as... The problem is to do that, we're going to need to automate nether wart, and to automate nether wart, we need to get to nether wart. Which, as far as I'm aware, in the create mod, oh wait, no, you can crush wart, <gasps> oh, you can crush wart blocks. And get nether wart, and then we can farm it off soul sand. Also, I think we have a brewing stand from somewhere. We could get a cleric and buy redstone dust. Although getting emeralds is going to be a bit of a pain. Also, we're in create pod. I don't want to do loads of villager stuff. Mining machine, that's what we're making. Uh, right, how many of them? Uh, how many have got? We've got... 133. Uh, if we divide that by... I don't think that's not divisible by 11. Not divisible by 13. Not divisible by 15. I think it's most divisible by 11 because it's 4.090909. I believe. Yep, is 111. 111. So. Right, if we divide it up by 20, okay, no, no, 21, I don't really want an 11 by 12 rig. Um, 25 looks like possibly the way to go because 133 which is how many we've got divided by 25 gives us 5.32 so that's 5 plus a little bit extra that means it's going to be five layers high. And yeah, and that is good. So. Can I? Go 
to get how many either side of central we need, you got to take away one, which is going to take it to 24, divided by two, that's going to give us 12. I just want to... Yeah, I have free cam on this, don't I? Yes, I did do a double placement. And there. So this is our center line, so one, two, three, four. Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And let's double check. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And in the middle. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and double check. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and in the middle. Perfect. Is that four? Yes, that is. Oh, really? Okay, in theory, I think... Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we get to go down to Y0. Which is not that way. And hopefully pick up some redstone dust and some diorite. And uh, not really any. Not really any more wheat that's worth picking up. How do I want dried kelp blocks, by the way? We must be doing really good, yep. <laughs> we sure are. I guess it is this layer. That pretty much.
don't know. I feel like it's probably not. Is it worth finding for redstone down here? Or do we just take it to the depths to get redstone? Get Dara another time. I think I'm going to just take it straight down for redstone, you know. Also, I need to mend my pickaxe as well. Hey King, welcome back. Yeah, we have switched over to hardcore. But I must remember that I do not have an elytra. <laughs> or I jump off potentially tall things. I don't plan on going anywhere tall, but... Yeah. So far the worst thing I've done is... Uh... Um... What the heck? That was really weird. There's like a lag between my keyboard and my computer. No, before I'm not making a, I am not making a raid farm on this world. That is one farm that I will refuse to build on Hardcore because raid farms can just go so wrong so quickly. Um, yeah, that was my survival world. So that was a prep for this week's episode, uh, which will be a raid farm, uh, which is going to be very exciting because it means I'll finally stop running out of flipping red stuff. <laughs> Um, pickaxe mending. I do have that pickaxe I can use instead. But that one does have a breaking on. Let's just make another pickaxe that we can just, uh... Because I'm pretty sure that won't even... Yeah. Three versus, yeah, definitely three. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I mean, well, raid farms basically are Hero of the Village farms. Which, I have to laugh, I was, I was chatting about this earlier, well, to nobody. <laughs> uh, on the other stream. But... I, I get what Mojang is doing with the updated villager trades, but I okay what what they've done with the cartographers and the uh, myth villagers I'm all for I think I think it's a good idea you know more maps for different POIs um, and you know actually charging a diamond. To make diamond armor and stuff yeah that's fair but the librarians i i think it's a step in the right direction but i don't think they've quite got it because i mean you, you look at some of the trades where they've got as the max level trades you've got efficiency three unbreaking two like protection three i think it was and you look at them and you're like yeah but what can you get off an enchant table you like the easy way to get armor and tools. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I personally haven't seen exactly what the trades are, but I presume it's only like one or two diamonds. So it's still like cheaper than uh, like getting the diamonds and crafting the armor yourself. But like the, the book trades, I just, because like, what's the point in trying to get a librarian and then getting it to master level if it's only going to give you efficiency three? When you can just set up a simple XP farm and get efficiency five, just ridiculous, or rid efficiency four rather, ridiculously easy, and you get other enchants on top of that. And again, you've got like uh, unbreaking two, unbreaking three is probably the easiest enchantment to get off an enchant table. <laughs> you never mind for diamonds. Well, you don't necessarily need to. Fight the dragon and go end raiding. Or you can find them in fortresses. You can get stuff in bastions as well. Uh, right, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
do that. Actually, let's go a couple over. But yeah, the, the the villager trades. I I can see what they're doing, but I just I just think. Oh, hello, Dennis, up there. Um, there's now, they've now made it so there's pretty much no point in getting villagers. Because you can just build a pretty simple XP farm. And get all the enchants you need. Now, obviously, things like mending. Uh, well, mending is basically the only worth, like, worthwhile enchant that you physically can't get off the table. That you would have to get from villages, but then again, you can get it from fishing or loot chests. Um, it it just depends. But the, the the funny thing that I find about part of Moyang's reasoning for changing this is, or at least sorry, the other side of it with the villager curing system, in that curing can't stack, is they want to make it. Hang on, is there obsidian up here or something? I think it's gravel. Um, is that they're saying, oh, we want to make here of the village more useful. They're also saying, because they don't want so many people using villages and stuff, they want to make raid farms less useful so, to try and discourage people from building them. The, the problem with their logic with that is that, well, if, if you can't immediately cure down to like one or two emeralds which i i think is something that should be good like that they can't immediately do that but the problem then means if you want to bulk trade you need more emeralds well what's the easiest way of getting more emeralds a raid farm <laughs> and in addition to that because they're saying they want to make hero of the village more useful well what's the easiest way of getting loads of hero of the village oh yeah a raid farm <laughs> It almost seems like they've accidentally made raid farms more useful trying to make them, or like, by trying to discourage people from using them. I think the the only way that raid farms are ever going to be, like, not used is if Moyang physically makes them impossible to make. The only way raid farms are going to, like, Stop being used. Like that. They would need to change something on how raids spawn. So that. Say, like, maybe. If. So, say the raid has. Like, they could quite easily uh, get rid of the. Uh, criteria that if because raid spawn it first gets tried to spawn at 64 blocks then I think 32 blocks and then if it can't spawn at 32 blocks it will try and spawn at the raid center well they could quite easily just get rid of that um, criteria and be like well if it can't spawn between 64 and 32 blocks away then the raid gets cancelled that's how you think the best thing they could do to stop raid farms. I mean, hey, I don't, I don't work at Mo Yang. Uh, a little bit close. Oh, I don't work at Mo Yang, so I can't control what they do with the game, but.
Yeah, I guess I guess that's my little mini rant over. Well, okay, it's not it's not a rant. It's a my thoughts on a ongoing and hotly discussed topic. My goodness, there's so many diamonds on this one. Oops. Yeah. Rip. You go get foods now? Alright, enjoy enjoy your dinner. I had a pizza for dinner tonight. Very nice. Ordered in a pizza from uh, a new place. And yeah, it was delicious. Proper, um... Uh, ne Neapolitan pizza, I think it is, from Napoli. I'm trying to see what's on the uh, pizza box. <laughs> Yeah, really, really nice pizza. It was like, um, what was it? It had uh, mushrooms, artichokes, portobello mushrooms, and some like uh, ham on it, and mozzarella and tomato base, of course. Um, and yeah, it was really, really nice. I didn't bring a crafting table with me, damn it. Oh, wow, look at that. That's quite a lot of diamonds already. There's some more. There have been a lot of diamonds on this, uh... This past thing. I mean, my mining machine is now 25 blocks wide. <laughs> I am going to be uncovering a lot more ores than I otherwise would have done. This is still only one tenth of what we need though. This really kind of suck. Why can't I just use redstone lamps like a normal person? Although to be fair, then I would need to have gone and get um glowstone lamps. Oh my goodness, more diamonds. Why am I mining lapis? I don't need lapis. I found lots of XP, apparently. Redstone. More redstone. I guess as well, actually, because this time I went a cu couple blocks from the wall. That way I wasn't just... wasn't spending one row in these uh, mining rigs just mining something that I've already exposed. and stuff in here. I need to empty out the... Uh... Hey, 
I need to empty out the chests and uh, burn some things. There's a lot of diamonds I... <laughs> um... And because we're not near the uh, lava, this is going to take a little bit of time. Just gonna slowly move everything over towards the lava here because I don't have a flint and steel. That's a lovely sound. That is a lovely sound. Okay, that one we want to keep full. Oh no, not the dripstone. We want to keep the dripstone, damn it. Where's the dripstone? Uh, all of that, a bit of everything from here, just casually got a stack of diamonds in here. Damn, I've thrown out some more uh, dripstone. I mean, the dripstone is not too catastrophic because I'm not really using it. But it is still annoying because if I do eventually want to use it, then I... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to get a load more. I mean, I could build a dripstone farm, I guess, but... A little bit of diorite. Another one we can just completely empty.
Again, the crims that we really don't want to lose because that's all the crims that we found. And uh, yeah. I think there is some more in that, like, the other cave underneath here that's just, like, filled with mobs because we're in Mushroom Island. Um, I know there was at least limestone there. And, uh, there's probably crimson as well. So I'm pretty sure limestone is what you find next to crimson. Is it... Oakrim is with dripstone? Or tough, maybe? I can't remember. Uh, Azurine is with calcite. And viridium. What's viridium found with? Is viridium found with diorite? No. Oh, I can't remember. Damn it. Time to merge the piles. And then There we go. That's such a good sound. All right, now. We're gonna gonna filter this a while. Uh, zinc ore. Redstone dust. More redstone dust. Lapis. Copper. Iron. Another redstone dust there, because why not? Redstone dust and gold. Diamonds. Because I, I can do that. <laughs> More lapis, more redstone, more redstone. Basically, I want nothing but like good stuff. And oh, we'll have more diamonds there. And then more redstone. Redstone is like the big thing that we're after. And I guess diamonds. Also, I completely forgot where on earth along everything was uh, being mined. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13.
we continue and we don't have to worry about the uh, chest filling up with junk. some lava. Oh, there's clearly quite a lot of lava. Well, that'll help kill some of the entities at least. That is a sound and a half. Also, we do have to be careful of caves around here now because we aren't in a mushroom island anymore. We've not been in a mushroom island for a while now. Caves like that. We gotta be careful of uh, friends coming to say hi. What the heck is the? Wait, is this the hitbox of the mining machine? Oh my goodness, it is. safe because of the rails <laughs> no way I was so scared the minecart contraption was gonna burn but of course now that rails don't get like washed away by stuff it's like it's perfectly safe In theory, that does make it, like, perfectly safe for me. Or for the nether, rather. To take to the nether. Of course, that wouldn't be safe for me, because the nether is, uh... Well, it's the eye burn. Or entraption might not, but I do. Uh... But if we got fire is, then technically... Yeah. Also, I'm I got excited earlier because you can make nether warp from grinding up nether warp blocks. But I have just suddenly thought that to make the strength potions that I would need to make, or that I would need to make redstone dust uh, through that method, it be ores. Um, I would need. I would need a. Uh, what's it called? Glaze powder, anyway. And I don't think there's a way that I can make glaze powder without killing a blaze. Wow, I'm all done. Look at that. I stopped that at the perfect time. Uh, let's get back to the uh, sink, luckily. We'll get back to the safe zone, and then we'll... Uh, I want to look in JEI. I don't think there's a way I can make blaze powder without killing blazes. Uh, 
Blaze powder, either a blaze rod there, automatic crafting, or crushing them. Yeah. Blaze rods can't be left clicked. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Am I having an end? Oh, this is deep potion as well. Oh. But yeah. Trying to think, because I, I don't think you can just pick up spawners with minecart contraptions now either, can you? You have to do it in like a really weird way. We'll have to find a like just general monster spawner underground here and find out. Oh my goodness, that's that's Yep, there's definitely diamonds been coming in. In court. Oh, bye bye bat apparently. And hello redstone all. Oh how I love to see redstone all. Eh, I can't be bothered to get that one. I'll tell you what though, with all these ores, we're gonna be pretty good for XP. I mean we're already on 34 levels. Jeez. Yeah, I think for for fortress stuff, blazer rods, etc. I think we're gonna avoid the Soul Sand Valley Fortress. At least until we can like maybe get another mob switch going. Because another mob switch, well, mob switches in general are gonna be huge survival. Anything with that of course is I have to breed up all of the uh, villagers. Which of course is not fun content to watch, just me sitting by a villager breeder waiting for babies to come out. And it's just it's one every five minutes. And we need 70 of them. And that's per dimension as well. So we need 142. So we'd be sat there for 70 minutes basically. Very exciting. Ah, <laughs> there you go, Sam. Other diamonds looking. Our oh, zinkle's looking pretty nice. Well, that's 35 levels. And 
diamond ore for us. Honestly, the more redstone ore we can expose, so we can fortune mine it. It's like that's that's best. Obviously, it's nice to still get some from the mining machine, but. I mean, we could always just go ham with the drills and build, like, I don't know, 64 drill pad. It'd be, probably be an odd number, like. Let's pick a pretty large odd number, I don't know, like 55 drills wide and 5 drills tall. Take it all the way to the world border. Yeah. Oh, were you in here when I was talking about exactly how much redstone dust I need? No. Yeah, so in total, I need 14 stacks, or 14 and a half stacks of redstone blocks. Um, I've, I've gotten four stacks of redstone blocks already. Um, and yeah, and then I need 14 and a half stacks total of nether quartz as well. Fortunately, I can grind diorite into nether quartz, so I'll take this a uh, bit up in the world and then uh, do that. But, uh, yeah, and this is just to do, this is just to finish off the floor for the monolith. Because <laughs> I need... Uh, these. It was made from polished rose quartz, zinc ingots, and resin ingots. And polished rose quartz is made from rose quartz, which is made from nether quartz and eight redstone dust. <laughs> And I have 60 chunks. Uh, each chunk has 16 lamps in. <laughs> it's sort of... It, yeah. It, it starts to add up quite quickly. We could... But yeah. We've, we've done the green tactic of just using the multiplication to get it to smaller numbers. You know. We need 1,024 lamps. Well, that's just uh, 16 stacks of lamps. And, or, well, hang on, hang on. It's 1,024 lamps. Uh, that is 9,216 redstone dust. Which, if you divide that by 9, well, that's 1,024 blocks of redstone. You can divide that by 64. That's just 6... Wait. Oh, no, I need 16 stacks of redstone blocks. Wait, what? Um. I've done I've done some incorrect math somewhere along the lines. I can't remember. Basically, I just need stupid amounts of redstone. <laughs> I can't believe I thought that, oh yeah, since I'm not doing a world where I'm just building farms all the time, I might not need as much redstone. And yet here I am, 208 days into the world, trying to get basically an inventory full of redstone blocks. Oh dear. I'll grab some of this zinc here, because why not? I mean... I could redesign the floor to use less redstone blocks, but I have already done, I don't know, four of the floor already. Oh, 
Let me get on. There's a bit of redstone there. A few more diamonds. That's another stack of blocks right there. Okay. Oh wait, I thought it It's this bit. Also, I'm not in the nether, I don't need that one. <laughs> yummy, yummy zinc. Just kidding kids, don't eat zinc. Zinc is... I think zinc is pretty toxic to eat. <laughs> As in just eating straight zinc. Uh, yeah, nope. It's a bad idea. Hello, cave. Oh, hello, skeleton. one though. More gold. I'm gonna be rolling XP by the time I've uh, ground up all of the uh, ores that I found here. Positively rolling XP. I've already got 38 levels just from mining stuff. Before we set this one off, we'll uh, take out all of our redstone as well and see what we've got so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. Why do I keep hearing random guardians shoot sound? Very, very weird. Are we like underneath the monument or something? Oh, I guess technically, yes. There's one just there. I'm trying not to look around as well. I'm just intrigued as to whether we're under a monument. <laughs> of 
<laughs> We've got just a few diamonds from this mining trip. Okay, so we've got, th we've only got three stacks of blocks, we've got like nothing of what we need, like, that's probably how much we need in terms of redstone blocks, i.e. a lot more, a lot more than we've already got. Right, we'll run two more bits of coal through there and maybe stop because it is a bit late for me. I say a bit late for me, it's like 20 to 1 in the morning. But hey, when you want, when the Minecraft bug gets you, it, well, at least when it gets me, it gets me good. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just got used to streaming my hardcore world every day last week. And I just got I got towards the end of what I was doing in the survival world and I was just like, I miss my hardcore world, you know. I've not played it since Sunday. Diamonds in the ceiling. Giant cave in the ceiling. Burning a few things. <laughs> Burning a few things. Uh... All better zinc ore. Oh, diamonds. Hello. just casually got over two stacks of diamonds now. I don't think mending is really going to be a problem. Like, no mending. At least on, like, diamond tools and stuff. Because when you... Oh my goodness, there's just two veins right here. When you have a mining machine like this... It's just, there's more just appeared there. <laughs> And there's more just appeared there as well. Uh, 
that's just another casual half stack of diamonds to chuck in. We've probably got over three stacks across all of this. Oh, what in the world? I just went from 48 to 51. Oh, wait, no, that's only three diamonds, isn't it? Okay, never mind. That's nothing. Well, no, I, I was I was just alarmed by the you know the change from four to five. And then I realised it, it was a high 40s to a low 50s. It's, it's not that shocking. It's probably above that. It's certainly keeping me- oh, there's more diamonds! It's certainly keeping me busy just hopping around, mining- mining the diamonds. But yep, there's- there's three st three stacks of <laughs> actually kind of stupid how many diamonds I've found. And I'm- I'm just leaving like iron ore and zinc ore. I mean, I'm taking up most of the zinc ore. If it's, if it's zinc ore in the floor or easy access in the walls, then I'm mining it. But if it's like, if the zinc ore is like in the ceiling, I'm just like, eh, can I really be bothered? And the answer is no. No, I cannot. It's in the ceiling, right? I mean, I really don't need them. But it's probably not a terrible idea. Oh, we'll check, we'll check once we finish running this thing. I mean, our diamond armor has taken a little bit of a hit, you know. That's a hefty gold vein. That is a hefty gold vein. A nice little clump of zinc. And then a hefty clump of diamonds in the ceiling here. Goodness, more ores. We're uh, out of inventory space again. Nine from five, not actually, not even double yield. It's kind of sad. And well, finally, we reached the end. <laughs> Wowzers! That was a lot of. Uh... A lot of stuff, right? Gold in the ceiling. I'm kind of curious as to how well this matched up together. Not very actually. Anyway, let's let's see what what can we do with our uh, our diamonds. Obviously, they're pretty crap. You can smelt diamond ore, I guess. 
the way it ever do that. You can... Oh yeah, I forget you can grind diamond horse armor into uh, diamonds. Wow, 10%? 10% chance of three more diamonds as well from that. Yeah, <laughs> you can smell it like that, but what can you use diamonds for? Obviously there's... Templates and tools, more templates, armor... Do do templates, armor, tools, templates, armor, and blocks, and the jukebox, and the enchant table. So it doesn't look like there's actually. Oh, yeah, you can do a uh, shaped crafting of the uh, things, which I guess kind of makes sense, really. Quite why you'd want to automate. Uh... Crafting anything with diamonds, I'm not sure. But I guess you can if you want to. Right, we'll go back here, we'll see how much redstone we've got, and then the end of stream there, because I do need to get some sleep. Like, we're picking up a lot of zinc ore as well. I think we'll, like, collect all of our ores together. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Oh, I left, I left some uh, redstone ore down here. Probably more of me. So, uh, first of all, let's just check. Everything we don't want out, which is literally just that, actually. Let's, uh, let's grab all of our zinc ore first. Wow, that is a lot, That's a lot of zinc ore. Uh, I don't think I put any anywhere else. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> All the diamonds. Turn that up. Uh, gold or... Oh my word, that's... And of course, don't forget, we're leaving the filled slots in. zinc there as well we've almost got a stack of like raw zinc blocks okay i've got much of we've got a fair amount of raw iron i mean obviously we're not really going to find any proper down here i don't think it even generates down here full stop yeah we've got a little bit of raw iron uh, I guess we might as well bother with the, uh, with the lapis, although it's going to be... Yeah, it's a lot of lapis. Yeah, 46 blocks of lapis. Then redstone. All right, all right. Uh, what do we got? And then one, two, three, four, five stacks and four. And then I guess we've got to do the diamonds as well. <laughs> 24, 24 diamond blocks on top of whatever we've got in uh, the other place. This thing is insane. I love it. 
And yeah, let's look at the, the strip mine as well that we've got going. This is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And <laughs> a little 5x5 five five tunnel from the first one I made. Now it's just turned into this absolute monstrosity. I mean, no wonder of how many I found many diamonds down here. Like, I'm just excavating like a chunk and a half at a time. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to do that. Anyway, I need to catch some Zs. Um, so we will... It would be funny to... Is it anyone we know live to raid? Uh, I'll stop the recording here and then we'll...